opinion. Okay, time now on the Inwell Time Car Talk Show for Conrad's This Week in Auto History. Well, in uh, this week in 1942, Ford earned a Jeep contract. So the blueprints for the American Bantam vehicle, uh, the original Jeep that was being built by Willis was also being built by Ford. Uh, And Ford built over 300,000 Ford Jeeps uh, for the World War II effort. I didn't realize they built that many. And when you look at how many they built and the amount of money that they were contracted for, they built each of them for about $975 each. Wow. Wow pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. In 1958, Toyota and Datsun came to the United States. In 1958, Nissan and Toyota uh, showed, showcased their cars for the first time at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Uh, while some Datsuns and Nissan vehicles uh, trade uh, brought to the United States that were the same name, most of them were given different names as they came into the United States. Uh, Ray Lemke opened the first U.S. Datsun dealership in uh, 1958 in San Diego. And the first Datsuns to hit the American shores were a 48-horsepower engine with a four-speed column shifter. Now, I've driven a three-speed column shift, but never a four-speed. And then in uh, 1985, Saturn was founded, you know, a new division by General Motors, which has since gone away. It's a Viper. Um, oh, uh, okay. 1989, the Dodge Viper concept debuts. After only a year of development, the non-running prototype Viper made its first appearance at the North American International Show, uh, and it received enthusiastic response. And then uh, it ended up making it into production. It cost them about $70 million to put that car into production. Um, and then after that would have been uh, the introduction of, uh, let's see, next picture. Yeah, the introduction of Saturn in 1985, uh, Saturn as a separate brand within General Motors, um, had a unique style. They, they were di- they, their advertising was they were a different kind of car company, and they were the ones that kind of introduced the one-price car. You know, they're really the original cars at Saturn, there really wasn't any negotiation. This was the price, this is what you paid, and that lasted for most of Saturn's life, but not all of it. Towards the end, they did start discounting the cars. And then in 2006, um, at the North American International Auto Show, uh, the Dodge Challenger concept uh, debuted. It's a Camaro. Uh, I know, and yeah, but and you know, but a lot of other things in that same year were first introduced. The Camaro was introduced to the public. Uh, the Pontiac Solstice, the FJ Cruiser were all introduced to the public. Um, but the big, the big one was the Challenger concept that stole the spotlight. Uh, and again, uh, the Challenger ended up being the uh, uh, one of the production cars that came out of that 2006 North American International Auto Show. And then finally, in 2020, the Bullet Mustang sells at the Mecham Auto Auction. Um, the Mecham Auto Auction. Um, for what was it? Three hundred and seven million. Excuse me, three point seven million dollars for that Mustang, uh, and that was one of the two cars that were used. That was in the, the one movie. that they found in Mexico. Right. That was all beat up and right. it and, and wore there, out. There's, there were two of them, but this is the one that they found. And then the final thing that the that showed was the uh, picture of the um, Lamborghini Miura concept car, but it never it never came to fruition. Okay. Thank you. Profitability.